right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Fill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters identical in age, and they have the same height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 152 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, presenting the Challenger International. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Nice body kick. That was something. Nice strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just misses with the straight right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice right hand. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow for the punch. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Boy, tie plump. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Both fighters get up now. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Single collar tie now. Big kick lands. Starting to do some really significant damage. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. 
All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hip, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient. Ground and pound from such a dominant position. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Right hand punch from the clinch. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head of the clinch. Nice straight punch. Gets the elbow up into the target. Ooh, head kick lands from the Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Oh, collar tie. Some nice back and forth action here. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Keep it busy here on the clinch. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, big punch land. Right hand upstairs. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Oh, he got a real good two. Round two winding down. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. There with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Just a slip there. All right, single collar tie now. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, a combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Punch over the top. And they clinch once again. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Right hand punch from the clinch. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing. Oh, and he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chip. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. 
All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got to be hurt very bad. Big elbow! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he oh! Oh, he's a of this. Very bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Close guard. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. Oh, nice guillotine there. He might get a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Ovin St. Pru has got to like that transition there. Got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliato has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 35 seconds of round number 2. He claimed the winner by tap out and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the And A still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that one. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweight